All right, YouTube. I have something here uh, that was a gift for me today. Uh, it's me and my wife's ninth year uh, anniversary, wedding anniversary, and she surprised me with uh, something special. As you can already see from the box, uh, it is a hot toy. It is my very first hot toy. Um, and because of that, I wanted to make sure I captured this unboxing uh, on video to share with uh, YouTube. So, uh, that's a stage set, and uh, we're going to get into it. I'm very excited to be opening this, so it's a little rushed, um, as you guys probably can, can completely understand. Um, so, this is a... Deadpool hot toy. Uh, this is from Deadpool 2. It is a 1 6 scale. Um, yeah, hot toys, uh, movie masterpiece. We got some really cool, nicely done artwork. Um, side panel, back view, X Men logo here. Um, nicely done more side art and detail. Again, this is a movie based figure. So let's go ahead and slide this off. Big reveal. And you have a window box. Um, uh, some accessories. Funny story. Uh, my wife did not know the sexual reference uh, with the unicorn. Um, so it was interesting to look up today and read and learn about. Um, so I to share that with her. So, um, again, window box, see the figure and all the accessories, side, X-Men in training. Um, and on the back, cast and crew, so you have the executive producers, the creative producers, uh, the product designer, the head sculptor, the head painter, the head art director, the painting controller, the accessory sculptor. There's a lot of accessories with these hot torches I'm excited about. It's 1 6 scale. It's my very first 1 6 scale figure. Also my very first Deadpool. So it's a trifecta, right? First hot toy, first Deadpool, first 1 6 scale uh, figure. So, anyway. All right, well, let's get into it. Let's open this guy up. Ah. Right. Slide that back in there for safekeeping. Some accessories already coming out the back. So we'll talk about that first. So you've got some wardrobe change effects, and you actually have a um, display that you can set Deadpool on. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to display this guy or if I'm going to display this guy, but uh, as a collector, I definitely want to get him out feeling, you know, look at the accessories. Again, for being the first hot toy, I really want to. I have a solid review on a hot toy since this is the first time holding one. Um, so one of the main drivers for opening this up. So tons of accessories in here. There's like there's like a little one six scale hanger for some outfit changes. I'm assuming that's for the X-Men <clears throat> t-shirt that comes in here. Uh, so right off the get. You have all the hands, so you have one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands. The blade seems to be missing, but maybe that's already on him. He has a couple weapons here. Um, let's get to the figure and then we'll, we'll talk about the accessories. Now, there's a disclaimer that says, please read instructions sheet first and follow all construction details. Sorry, Hot Toys, I'm not gonna do that. Um, I do see it down here, and it's going to remain stuck there. So hopefully, I don't break anything here. All 
All right, first things first. Let's get him out. <laughs> right out the pack. He has the best hand gesture ever. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, I hope you guys can see that pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna check the camera angle to make sure. Like I said, I wanna make sure this is has been got yeah look at that let me zoom out a little bit here <laughs> right perfect all right <laughs> so Maybe a reference you guys remember uh, from the movie. Dude, right off. Right, let me just talk about this figure real quick. So, head sculpt, amazing. The feel of this guy is pretty cool. Uh, it's legit. I mean, the texture, uh, the, fit, the fit, the material. I'm looking at the biceps, so biceps look a little. A little big, but uh, look at this figure. I mean, this is oh, look, yep, the blade is there. Wow, let's, let's talk about articulation for a minute. It's how I've treated my legends. I don't know if we treat a hot toys the same way. I'm really not familiar with the, the articulation points on a hot toy. You know, I know that it's supposed to look really realistic. Um, but I well, can only look back that far. He can only look down that far. Um, but he can turn his head, for the most part. He's got some gesture. Um, looks like there's a diaphragm swivel, as well as something at the waist there. Um, <clears throat> looks like lift up his arms with that much. I, I'm pretty sure with the way the material is we're not going to get a full rotation. Um, double jointed elbows though. Um, you know, wrist pivot obviously. A um, bunch of accessories. Alright so the legs kick out about that much. Kick back about that much. Makes sense. Um, double jointed knees. Uh, you got pivot up and down, which is better than a lot of legends. Uh oh. Looks like I say uh oh. It's not bad, but his uh, pants leg came out of his boot. Definitely fix that. Um, See, so yeah, articulation is there to do some posing. Sure with the neck, but I, if you guys remember uh, this theme from the movie, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna stand here. Ooh. And guys, this is. Obviously, my first Hot Toys, I'm probably being more rough than I should be with him, but, you know, not only is it about the price, but I, I, I want to make sure it's durable, right? And maybe that's not on purpose, but um, I'm very interested. If I'm, if I'm going to be a collector or something, I want to know, you know, the quality, how I can handle it, right? Because I still want to pose it. I, the whole purpose of this is for some photography and the need to play with, right? So they may be more expensive, but... Uh, yeah, the quality should be there as well. I don't want this thing falling apart you know, after a few poses. So, for those who are cringing the way I'm posing this and playing with this figure, look away now, please. Alright, so we do have some other hands and accessories. I'm not going to get into the hands. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's play with the hands because I, I, I do want some ripping hands. Um, so we'll, we'll pop those up open. Actually, I'm gonna close them up. I'm go to the accessories real quick. Um, so the unicorn reference I made earlier. Uh, 
um, there is a pair of high heel boots. Get the X Men shirt. All the eye accessories. Right, this is the collar that he wore in jail. And, right. Do you guys remember that or not, but that's that. I really should probably read the accessories room, or the manual room I'm going to. Set that to the side. Um, here's some exciting stuff, accessories. Here is the sheath as well as the katanas. Obviously, is known for. And these are actually metal, metal katanas. I mean, how? Yeah, it's just amazing. And I believe, yes, it is magnetic. So that just fits right onto his back. You guys can see. Uh, he has his Desert Eagles. Right, and they fit right into the holsters here. Move this real quick. That's, that's, that's awesome. I'm gonna get some close ups, guys. Get some close ups, talk about some of this, and. Uh, for now, we're just going to leave him posed up. He is a little top heavy once those katana and accessories are on, but maybe the diorama he's sitting on. Alright, so he does come with a stand, a base, very nice base. Had a figure fall over. Um, here is the Clamp for the base. And here is the there's a thread on. I'm trying to see where the thread. So very solid. I mean, look at this thing. It's an articulating metal rod that you screw in. So it's very, you know, not that you got to worry about it falling over. What's cradled in there? There are a couple other accessories here. Um, looks like some kind of ball joints of some sort. Not really sure. And then there's these metal, little shiny metal pieces. Probably something I should read the instructions for. Um, Alright, that, that is it as far as accessories. So the only other thing, and I don't know if I'm going to open this right now or not, is all the display pieces, and I'm not going to do it, so that will go with the, um, the stand here. So. You know, that's yeah, these pegs, you know, I think of it maybe for the high heels, which I'm not going to use that either. Um, all right. So let's, let's do some poses. Get some hands out for the guns. Off, so we're gonna drop them. Remove. The hand pin. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to remove them. I don't do what I do.
Yep, definitely did that wrong, so it should come off pretty easy like that. And they actually come with extras. I figured out, just figured out what that was. So those are additional uh, ball joints, I guess, in case you, you break these. So um, yeah. Um, so let's put those down. Let's get some. I am all about the details and the finish and uh, obviously it's here with the hot toy. Now I just gotta understand if it's really worth the money. Um, it's gonna come down to you know how these figures look under light, you know, photography, and how posable they are. So, well, that fits in there quite nicely. I, I wish you would have came with, oh my goodness, look at this, something I just noticed. And I'm, I'm going to share this with you guys because it, it's, it's awesome. So you can't pull it back. There's an action. And in there, there's actually a bullet. Oh, and I think, yes, the magazine slides out. That's, that's fantastic. So I've seen that with Mezco's. But like I said, this is my first hot toy. So, you know, I, my expectation should be high. Uh, but you know, coming into it as a blank slate, so um, and, and that's that's going to come into play with a lot of dynamic action poses, because you can actually have them firing, or at least look like they're firing. So uh, there's that arm again. Not I don't know what, if I broke it or what, but I might have to get some adhesive on there, but. We can get him a little straighter arms here. It's really kind of hindered here. I don't know if it's me. Not knowing the suit. There we go. It's a little better. Get some straighter arms. Just try not to stress the material. Too badly. But uh, yeah, I mean. Good looking figure. I picked this up at a local comic book shop for $275. Maybe could have got a little cheaper, but you know, supporting local comic book shops, keep them guys uh, in business. I'll probably buy a few others from them, you know, depending on how this review turns out and you know how well I like them. The hot toys that is. Um, yeah, so those are the guns. I mean, that looks. It looks real. It's like I'm on the set of this movie. So that's pretty fabulous. Um, let's try some hands with the katana. So I'm gonna be a little more gentle with removing these guys. Go on holster the weapons. Yep, and so to break up some of the silence, uh, one thing I don't care much for is where these, these pouches are. They don't let the Desert Eagle sit in too well. But um, the attention to detail here, the, the straps, the blade, I'm sure I've talked about this. You got a little blade here. Shin guards, the threading, the stitching, the zippers, I mean, it is all just on point. Let's 
get some katana woven hands. So I've only got one hand that appears to hold the katana. Maybe I'm just overlooking it. Fist hand. Oh. It appears to be it. I got two fist hands. So I don't have a left hand for a katana. That's interesting. Hmm. It's supporting at the same time. Should make something more to though. So that means he can't ever hold a blade. I wonder if there's some I'm thinking about reaching out to Hot Toys because that's, that's kind of disappointing. I don't think I can make anything work because of 